I mean, who, after all, are the old? They're simply people, like us, but people who have had longer to work, to earn, and to save. <laughs> who then, Mr. Speaker, who then are the pathetic creatures who would be evicted from their old age homes by my new clause? They must be none other than the lazy, the feckless, and the stupid. <laughs> a little money by for their for their for their old age simply decided to blow it all on bingo and dog racing <laughs> and ghastly holidays in Blackpool. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, when these dissolute proles were wandering the countryside wearing their kiss me quick hats and singing though I do so love to be beside my seaside <laughs> They should have considered how they'd look after themselves in their old age. Oh, no, no. Once again, they expect us, the enterprising, overtaxed minority, to bail them out. <laughs> well, I say no, Mr. Speaker. I say no. I say enough. In fact, in fact, we shouldn't just reduce the Social Security handouts to these dodderers. We should cut off all payments forthwith. Yes, make them live with their families like they did in the good old days. Thank <laughs> you.